Hello, welcome back. Problem 11-34. So statement is the beam is made from a plate that has a constant thickness B. If it is simply supported and carries the distributed loading shown, determine the variation of its depth as a function of X so that it's, it maintains a constant maximum bending stress throughout its length. So you can see this is a simply supported beam that carries a uniformly increasing load from A to B and then uniformly decreasing load from B to C. The magnitude of this uh, is W0. The total length of the beam is L. And you can see the height of this beam is increasing from when you move from X till L by 2 and then it decreases. So you have to find the variation of its depth along X so that it can carries a constant maximum bending stress so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support at point a so you will be having a reaction force let this is r a and if you remove this roller support at point c so definitely you will be having a reaction force r c now what we have to do is that if we draw the free body diagram of this beam so it will be just like this I'm going to draw it roughly so the beam will be like this okay so at this point we have R A and at this point we have R C clear and the total length from mid till this this distance is L by 2 and this is also L by 2. Total length is L. And we have a uniformly increasing load from A to B. And then uniformly distributed load from B to C. This is your point B. This is your C. And this is your A. Now when uniformly increasing load from A to B is converted into a point load, so what we do is that if we convert this into point load so this magnitude will be equal to 1 over 2 w naught into this length which is l by 2 and this will act at a distance of l by 2 over 3 this length l by 2 over 3 which is l by 6 so i will write it l by 6 similarly this uniformly distributed load from b to c when converted into point load so this will be equal to 1 over 2 w naught into this length l by 2 and again this will be acting at a distance of l by 6 from this b side so l by 2 minus l by 6 will give you this distance and this distance will be equal to uh, l by 3 you can check it this will be l by 3 and similarly this will be also l by 3 now you will have to apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a first moment is this force into perpendicular distance is l by 3 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write it minus 1 over 2 w naught into l divided by 2 into perpendicular distance is l by 3 the second moment is due to this load multiplied by perpendicular distance is this one now this distance is equal to l by 2 plus l by 6 uh, and that will be equal to 2 l by 3 2 l by 3 so i will write it minus 1 over 2 w naught into l by 2 into perpendicular distance is 2 l by 3 this distance is 2 l by 3 the third moment is due to this force rc into perpendicular distance is l and this is producing clockwise so it will be positive so i will write plus rc into l is equal to 0 
so this will give you minus w naught l square over 12 this will give you minus w naught l square 2 w naught l square over 12 and this will give you plus r c into l is equal to 0 so if you take the lcm it will be 12 minus w naught l square minus 2 w naught l square plus r c into l is equal to 0 so from here you will get minus 3 w naught l square over 12 plus r c into l is equal to 0 so we will get r c into l is equal to w naught l square over 4 and you will get r c is equal to w naught l over 4 so this is r c now we will find r a by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero force upward taken as positive so you can see r a r a minus this force which is w naught l over 4 minus this force which is w naught l over 4 plus r c and r c is w naught l square uh, sorry w naught l over 4 is equal to 0 so you can see that r a this will cut with this so r a is again equal to w naught l over 4 now you have both r a and r c so what you will do is that you will now move and what we will do is that um, we will i will copy it so that you can get it downward okay let me paste it over here okay now we will cut the beam at this distance at a distance of x and what if we cut this beam over a distance of x and draw the free body diagram so it will be just like this okay so here we have r a which is equal to w naught l over 4 clear when you cut it you will be having a shear force v and you have external moment m now you can see you will having a uniformly distributed load over this point you have w naught so over a length of x at a length of x by 2 you have w naught over x what will be it will be w so if you take it as a two right angle triangle one is this one and other one is this one other one is this one so if you take the uh, ratio of their sides it will be same so let w over x w over x will be equal to w naught over l by 2 so from here you will get this w is equal to 2 w naught into x over l so this will be the magnitude here it will be 2 w naught x over l that will be equal to w so what if we convert this uniformly increasing load into a point load so i will convert it and it will be equal to 1 over 2 into this value which is 2 w naught x over l and let this distance is x where we have cut this beam so it will be into x and that will be acting at a distance of x by 3 from this denser side so let this is your point m now applying equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so first moment is due to this w naught into l over 4 and perpendicular distance is x and that is producing clockwise so it will be negative the second moment is due to this load and this load into perpendicular distance is x by 3 and it is producing counterclock so it will be positive so i will write plus 1 over 2 
into 2 w naught x over l into x and perpendicular distance is x by 3 plus this external moment m which is counterclockwise moment and their sum must be equal to 0. So when you solve this you will get and rearrange you will get moment is equal to w naught over 12 l into 3 l square x minus 4 x cube. So this is the value of moment. We know that maximum stress or allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment into uh, maximum bending moment divided by section modulus. So we have the equation of bending moment. We do not know the section modulus. So S we know that it is equal to second moment of inertia divided by I. So if you cut the beam at distance of X, so you will be having cross section will be like this. So this will be the its bread B and this is the height H. Okay. This is the height H and this is the neutral axis. So C will be equal to H by 2. Okay. Now we know that I is equal to 1 over 12 B H cube for this cross section at a distance of X and c is h by 2 so you can just put it over here so we will get 1 over 12 b h cube over h by 2 so you will get s is equal to 1 over 6 b h square now you have uh, s as well and you have the equation of bending moment so you can you can you can just put it in that formula bending stress bending stress sigma x max is equal to m divided by s so movement is w naught over 12 l into 3 l square x minus 4 x cube divided by section modulus which is 1 over 6 b h square okay so again when you simplify this you will get maximum bending stress will be equal to w naught over 2 b h square l into 3 l square x minus 4 x q so this is equation of maximum bending stress for the variation of x if you put the value of x at any instant so you will get the maximum bending moment at that now at x is equal to l by 2 height h is equal to h naught this is given in the question you can see at x is equal to h by 2 you have this height is h naught so put it in above put it this is equation number one put it in equation one so when you put x is equal to l by 2 in this equation 1 so you will get and h is equal to h naught you will get w naught l square over 2 b h square okay now this is your equation number 2 in question it is given that maximum find h so that maximum bending stress throughout its length is constant so equate equation 1 and 2 when you equate equation 1 and 2 you will get w naught over 2b h square l into 3 l square minus 4 x cube is equal to w naught l square over 2b h so we are interested to find out uh, h so this will be equal to w naught into 3 l square x minus 4 x cube over 2 b h l is equal to w naught l square over 2 b 
so we are interested in h so h will go to toward right side i will write h will be equal to one is h and this is uh, let me check it so this is h naught because this is h naught okay this is h naught this is h square p h naught so when you find this h so h will be h square will be equal to 2b h naught into w into 3l square x minus 4x cube over 2b l Uh, this h will go toward this upper side this will come down and this will also go to this side so to be not h into this term divided by 2 b l into w naught l square this is w naught so w naught will cut with this and uh, you will be having 3l this will be l cube okay so you will be having 2b do b h naught into 3l square x minus 4x cube divide by 2b l q so 2b 2b will cancel so h square is equal to h naught over l cube into 3 l square x minus 4 x q so if you take the square root on both sides so h will be equal to h naught okay one more thing is that you have here this is h naught square so kindly make a correction over here okay so if you take the square root so h square h naught square will cancel with each other and this will be equal to l by 2 l l by l power 3 by 2 into 3 l square x minus 4 x cube 1 over 2 so this is the value of depth of the beam along the lens so that it maintain a constant bending stress. And this was all about problem 11-34. I hope you, you have enjoyed this video and you have learned many things from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.